Hey everyone, it's time for Story of the Week. I'm Danika from All Areas Speech Pathology and it's holidays. So normally we have a break from Story of the Week, but I found this really important story that I wanted to share with you. Now, I recently found that the Queensland Government and Department of Health have created some really great social stories on natural disasters. Now, we've shared this on our Facebook page, but I'll add the link below. This one here that I've got to share is all about floods or flooding. So here in New South Wales and many parts of the eastern uh, seaboard here in Australia, this week have experienced lots of heavy, heavy rains and lots and lots of flooding. So many, many families and communities have been affected. Social stories often um, provide opportunities to discuss how children might be feeling and build on those skills of resilience or understanding. So I wanted to share it with you today. What's the title of the book? It's called Birdie and the Flood. Now this is the sign for bird, so I'm going to use it for their name. You might spell it birdie if you'd prefer. I'm going to use bird as the sign for birdie. Birdie and the flood make your water rise. Who's the author? Who wrote the book? Her name is Andrea Murray. Let's spell that. Andrea Murray. Let's see who is the illustrator who drew the pictures. Their name is Anil Tortop. Let's spell that. Anil Tortop. Let's read the story together. This is Birdie. Birdie is a happy bird who likes to sing. She lives in a nest. So I'm going to use the sign for nest like this, like a bowl or this kind of shape because that's the shape of her nest. She lives in a nest in a tall tree. Birdie feels cozy and safe in her nest. Birdie likes to catch worms and talk with her friend, Mr. Frog. Mr. Frog lives in a pond with green lily pads. One day when Birdie was looking for worms, she spotted some dark clouds up in the sky. Ping, ping, ping. Some drops of rain fell out of the sky and landed on her head. Birdie flew back up to her dry nest. The rain got harder and harder. Ping, 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 splat, splat, splat. The water, or rainwater, was making big puddles on the ground. Splash, 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 it went in Mr. Frog's pond. There was loud thunder and lots of lightning, lightning. Birdie didn't like the loud noises and all the rainwater. It was scary, all scary. Ping, ping, ping. The rain did not stop. Ping, 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 it went on her head. Splash, 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 it went in the pond. Birdie got wetter and wetter and colder and colder. Soon her, soon her feathers and her nest were soggy and yucky. Birdie was not happy. She didn't feel safe. She was afraid. Splash, splash, splash. The water came up and up and up like flood. The pond got fuller and fuller. Soon the water, or the rainwater, covered the ground. Then it covered the road. 
It even covered the cars and went into the houses. When her nest started to break, Birdie flew to a safe place. When the rain stopped, Birdie flew back to her tree. Oh no, her tree was broken. It had fallen down. And her nest was gone or lost. There was water or rainwater and mud everywhere. Birdie had lost all of her feathers in the storm and she had lost her home. She was very, very sad. She started to cry. Poor Birdie. Mr. Frog was sad and worried too. His beautiful pond was dirty, dirty and full of mud and rubbish. All the lily pads were gone or lost. What were they going to do? Lots and lots of helpers came. Birdie did not like the sound of the helicopters that came to help. Chop, chop, chop went the blades as they spun round and round, making a big wishing wind. Whirr went the engines. Birdie was frightened and covered her ears with her wings. Mr Frog went under the water with a splash. The helpers bought buckets and shovels and saws to clean or clean and fix. Zzz went the saws, swish, swish went the brooms. Some helpers bought sticks to build Birdie a new nest. Some of Birdie's friends bought feathers to make a new coat. That's very kind, isn't it? Soon everything was clean or clean. All the rubbish was gone. Birdie had a bright new coat with lots of colours. She had a warm nest. She and Mr Frog were safe and happy again. So with all of those lovely helpers that arrived, Birdie and Mr Frog could feel safe again. We hope that over time, if you've been affected by the floods, we hope that you can feel safe again soon too. Thanks for joining us today for Story of the Week. And we're thinking of all of you that are experiencing any hardship uh, due to the local weather conditions in the last week. Our hearts go out to you. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time for Story.